Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I am finally filming my studio tour. I feel like this is a good time to film it because I've had a bit of time to properly live in it. Some new little bits have been added since I last filmed. So yeah, basically if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I went to uni and have just moved back home this year. Um, and I kind of redid two rooms downstairs that are now my rooms, which is very kind of my parents. If you want to watch the process of how I transformed these two rooms, then I will link the video down below um, because these rooms looked very different before I got my hands on them. So anyway, let's get started and I will show you around. So this is the door that you come in through, through the rest of the house to get into these two rooms. And so when you come in, this little doorstop we've had for years and years. I have no idea where it's from. It is very cute though. And then ahead of me, I have this little sort of entryway area and a little peg rail, which has one bag on it at the moment. This is from H&M Home very recently. This is the most recent bit in this room. And then there's these two cupboards over here. The bottom one has um, like my mum and dad's stuff. I'm not sure what's in there. And then in this one, I just have baking bits and things that I don't really use much. And then the wires do kind of annoy me down there, but it's fine. Got a heater in here because it gets so cold in here. That's the only little radiator within this whole room. So <laughs> this is very much needed. And then we have a little fake cactus from Oh god, I have no idea, but I've had that for ages, and the planter is from Urban Outfitters. And then this little table is from uh, Second Time Around in Banbury, I think. It's a little like vintage reclamation sort of shop. This phone is not plugged in, <laughs> but this is from eBay. Found it. Well, actually, I saw it in a vintage shop ages ago and really wanted it and then I found it on my photos and I was like, let me see if there's one online and I found it. So I was very happy with that. And then I've got this little radio which plugs in. Um, the plate it's on is from Ikea. So is the lamp. And then up here, the mirror is, oh, I don't know where it's from because my auntie <laughs> gave it to me years ago on top of a dresser and I just took it off the dresser. Um, so that is that mirror and it also had a chain but I took the chain off the top and then the lights up here don't know where the fixture thing is from because my parents have had that here for years but the lampshades are both from Ikea so that's the little entryway and then here's a little sort of pan around of the room We'll go to this bit next. So this is sort of my kitchen side of things. <laughs> so over in this corner, we have a Swan fridge freezer, which literally took five months to come. <laughs> but inside my freezer, what do we have? <laughs> Chips. It's basically student living inside a freezer. <clears throat> have some Ben and Jerry salted caramel ice cream, which it's okay, but it's not my fave, not gonna lie. Um, some bread, more chips, <laughs> um, and some random ice cream stuff. Don't really reach into there too much, but see if I'm really craving frozen food. And then there's really not much in my fridge right now, apart from like yogurts and Coke. So then next to the fridge is Florence's little bed and her food and water. Her bed is from Pets at Home. And then these little pink bowls, which I love so much. They're coming out quite white, but they're like really light pink. They are from Pets Corner. This is one of my favorite pieces of this room, which is the shelving area. So I have all of my favorite little kitchen bits um, just displayed nicely. I've got some of my favorite mugs on this little hook rack and yeah do you guys remember me trying to 
think about something to write on that little pin board, I ended up just saying hey hey. <laughs> and then I've got some plates and some sort of milk jug things, some bowls and wine glasses that are not used very often. <laughs> I found these in a charity shop and I just thought they were really pretty. And then on top of the mantelpiece, I have fake cactus from Sainsbury's, which you might still be able to get because I got it for my birthday in September. And then these are from a little home shop in Cornwall. These scales, I have no idea where these are from. I think I got these for a birthday last year and they're like vintage scales and I've got the weights somewhere. And then I haven't really fully decided this corner yet, but I also got this cute little poodle for my birthday um, from my Auntie Vicky. And this is a vase that I use when I have flowers. I think this was from Asda. And then next to the shelving unit is this other kitchen unit, which we were very kindly given by some family friends. Um, and we painted it creamy white. This just stores a load of random stuff like plates and um, other things but it's not really properly organized in there and this bit pulls down so yeah I love this so much it's so vintage looking I just yeah I think it's so cute and then next to that is my gorgeous pink bin from this brand <laughs> and next to the bin is this big fake cactus from Ikea a while ago. I got it in the sale. It was like £30 or something. And the pot is from Home Base. And next to the cactus is my favourite huge full length mirror. Oh yeah. <laughs> this makes this room feel so much bigger. I'm so happy I found this. I got it on eBay but it's the same as the one I have upstairs but this one has this sort of natural wood effect. And it also kind of goes with the wood over here, which is the other little corner of my kitchen. So this big cabinet was from second time around in Banbury. Again, it was just secondhand furniture shop. And I love it so much. It's just got like little drawers at the top and then loads of storage in here, but it's quite messy, <laughs> not gonna lie. And then on top of that, I have a little station for making drinks or snacks or breakfast, new sorts of things. So I've got a little kettle here and a toaster. These ones are both from Breville. And then the microwave is actually the same as the fridge, it's from Swan. And then next to this cabinet, I have my little table with chairs, which is where I kind of work quite a lot of the time. I just sit here and work on my laptop. And then I can like look outside. Um, at the moment I've got a little candle burning. This is from H&M Home. I love the shape of the glass around it. These cushions are from M&S. And then I made the little seat cover to go on top of there in the window. And that's actually where I sit when I do my sewing. And it's very comfy. Cushions are from Ikea, just got one on each chair. Just think they make it look a bit more cozy on the table. So yeah, that is this room, pretty much. Showing everything now. Now let's head into the other room. So this is my studio slash workspace slash chill room. So the first thing when you come in on the left is a little storage unit, this has like blogger mail that I have yet to open, things like that. And then sandwiched behind it is my iron, <laughs> which is neatly tucked away down there. Got another one of the Ikea lamps up there because they just give such nice light off. This plant is also from Ikea, and so is the little pot. Blinds are from Ikea as well. And then down here I have my little piano with a cover that I made for it. It's made a little quilted cover to go on there because pianos can look very ugly <laughs> so I like 
I like how this one kind of just goes with the aesthetic of my room now. And then I have my guitar, which I just never pick up anymore, which is so bad. This little wicker newspaper rack. And then my wicker chair, which has a few cushions on it. These ones, again, from Ikea. And this one is from HomeSense. Um, this, yeah, really funny. <laughs> the ducks are laughing at me. The rug is from Ikea. Florence loves nibbling at this. It's got like little bits that she tries to like pull out with her teeth. Love it when she does that. Over here I have some storage boxes with shoes in, blankets galore, <laughs> and then one of my favourite pieces in this room which is this little glass fronted cabinet which houses all of my haberdashery stuff. There go the ducks again. This fake plant that is growing out of it is also from Cornwall. Um, I have no idea the name of the brand. I kind of wish I did because it's so amazing and I wish I could like find them online to see if they do more. And then we come to my sofa which is from Ikea and it's covered in throws at the moment because of the puppy situation. Um, she doesn't really get allowed in here very often and if she is allowed in here I'm always in here with her so I keep a very good eye on her that she's not going to just wee on the sofa because that would be very very sad. But yeah, cushions and everything all Ikea on there. And then if I am to sit down on the sofa, let me show you what I look at. So over there is my desk area. I've got my computer, which acts as like a TV for in here. And I blast music very loud on there because it actually goes really loud. <laughs> and then I have a rail at the top from Ikea. And up there, I just keep my certificate for my degree. Um, random bits of haberdashery stuff, some pens, and then below are kind of like diaries, notebooks, those sorts of things, some tissues, paint stuff, pencils, and then I've got my little desk where I have like business cards, um, postcards, and I also keep a little lip balm by my computer. This one is from Drunk Elephant. It's quite fun because it's like super chunky, so it feels really cool. So that lives down there, and then this desk has drawers, um, and in this one I keep a load of nail stuff, some like cables, CD drive, my laptop, really random stuff. And then underneath the desk is quite a mess. I have my overlocker and my sewing machine, and then like cables and recycling and rubbish so that we will leave <laughs> and then this area again is kind of the messy dumping ground it doesn't look too bad right now um, again I've got another little heater in here because these rooms just get so cold in these two bags I have new in fabric that I want to make things in and then behind there I keep Depop items uh, my Depop will be linked below if you want to um, see what I'm selling on there. And then we have my Vogue's all stacked up there with a random cowboy hat. One rail over here with a coat that I recently made with some mannequins. This was the first mannequin I ever had, which is actually a child size mannequin, <laughs> which shows how long I've been sewing for. So yeah, those just live over there. And then I have my favorite thing, which is my huge desk. This chair I stole from our kitchen, <laughs> no idea where that's from, but these desks are from Ikea, they're just two desks that are on trestle legs. And underneath here is a complete hoard of fabric and canvases and random stuff. Actually, to be fair, most of those bags are full of patterns from my uni collection. And then in the opposite corner, I have empty rolls from fabric, um, pattern paper, um, a ruler. Oh look, you can see the ducks and the chickens. And then more fabric stored over there with my um, master patterns and some more garments hanging up. That I've made. Here I store calico and fabric that I use to make mock-ups of my dresses. And then next to that I have this random ball of yarn which I actually use as a weight now on my pattern to stop the paper from moving 
everywhere. Got my trusty brother printer with some random bits on top. And then my little notice board with some inspiration on it. This light is from Ikea, it's being a bit squished. <laughs> that is my studio and my little dining room. So, yeah, it's all finished. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below which part of the room was your favorite. I still don't know which part's my favorite, but I just love having my own little space to myself, which is very nice. Yeah, I will try and link as much as I can below um, that I've shown in this video, but most of it is like secondhand, so that's a bit tricky to link. But anyway, I hope you guys are all having great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!